difficult conversations. Something we all shy away from, but you can't avoid it. So is there a simple way where we can have this difficult, uncomfortable conversations in an assertive way without offending someone? I believe the EECC model is very effective and I try to use it myself and also teach it to my students and my patients. The EECC model stands for event, effect, change required and continue doing. Now there's a few general rules in this model. The one thing is never generalize. So never use the words you always. Be specific in terms of what you address. Secondly, never blame and own the emotion. So never use the words you make me feel because that person might not have intended to make you feel this way and your emotions is your own. So rather use the words I feel. Let's take a simple model or an example of the model. We're all now back at work. You might be working in an open plan office or you might have an open door policy. You have a colleague that like to stop by and share some information, whether it is small talk or informal conversation, or maybe it's relevant to the job required, but it's at an inconvenient time and it breaks your train of thought while you're busy with some other work. So how can you use this model? Let's try. Mary, this is the third time you're stopping by at my desk this morning. That is the event. And you were very specific. You didn't tell her, Mary, you always stop at my, off, at my desk. You just state the fact, this is the third time this morning. Now you need to address the effect it has on you. I lose my train of thought and I really battle to concentrate. This makes me quite anxious because I've wasted now a bit of time and it might cause me to have to work longer tonight because I'm scared I miss my deadline. Or you might even say, I felt a bit frustrated because I lost my train of thought and now spend extra time getting back into the swing of things. Then you ask for the change required. Mary, is it possible that we can touch base every morning when we have our first cup of coffee? Or you can ask, Mary, is it possible that we can address this during lunchtime or tomorrow at three o'clock? So you ask for a change. And the fourth thing is then really to preserve the relationship, the continue doing. However, I really like the way that you have the ability to turn any situation into such a pleasant experience. Or Mary, I really appreciate how you're always prepared to share your insights. So you've addressed a specific event. You own the feelings. You explain to her what is the effect the event has on you. You ask very specifically for the change required, but you also gave a credit. You protected the relationship by stating what you should continue doing.